So, yeah, as far as I could tell with my quests and stuff, what are you doing, Phoenix? Phoenix is meowing at me. I was excited for you to get cool armor. The future so she would look so much better. I know, right? Like, I... This is leather, too. I'm hoping it gets better. Because that looks so bad to me. Um... So I'm doing good. How are you, friend? Hug. That's some you two. No. Thank you, Bubba. I'm tired. I'm just really tired. That's that's pretty much like my my overall statement at the moment is I'm I'm well and truly tired. I don't even know why. Um good like job. I'm I'm keeping on with like my iron supplements. I'm remembering to eat, so it's not that. Um what else? I'm pretty sure I'm drinking enough water. All the things. I'm just exhausted. So I'm not sure what that's about. So, yeah. But it's alright. I'll be okay. I'll get some sleep. I got plenty of sleep. Like, literally, I was asleep for like 30 odd hours. Yesterday. Today. Um, what you need. Yeah, so I'm going to see if I can gamble with him to get... Oh, he doesn't even have... That looks awesome. I don't even know if I can use it. Like, it just looks awesome. I don't. I don't need that, but... Maybe I was hoping he'd have a belt. Oh, that limits this so much. Oh, I can refresh it. Oh, well, that's interesting. You can refresh it. I'm guessing this is a new feature. I'm going to guess this is new because what you used to have to do is you had to go outside. But I'll just see if he comes about a bow. Uh, he does have one. I'll be buying these as he gets them. He's just going to have more and more. I can just keep buying off the same spot. Oh, that'd be so good. I get mana stolen per hit. It is... Um, yeah, it's a little stronger than mine. It's it's very fast attack speed, though, so that could be good. See if I can get something better, though. This is the only problem with working with this guy, is I'm going to lose all my money. Poison resistance, I don't need that. We can tell that. Just fill up my fucking inventory and see how this goes. I don't know if any of you guys do this, but I do. Um, yeah, let's see. Mana, that's basically the same thing, but... 35, 35, quiet level 4. That one does a little bit more, actually. Yeah, that was a bit more worth my time. This one does like 5% plus fire resist, so he can take that one. I can get him to sell it. Why won't you sell it? Fucking buy it, mate. Take that. Um... Yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to sit here with him trying to, like, hope for the best. Hopefully I didn't swap over mine at any point. You know how sometimes I do that? Well, we'll we'll see. Let's see. Third, control, left click to sell. Oh, we'll get rid of those and we'll grab a couple more. See if we can get something better. Very fast, increase attack speed. <laughs> oh, I love that. I used to really go for these, by the way. You know, the very fast attack speed stuff. Yeah. I used to be like, oh man, it's got increased attack speed on top of it. It's got to be good. Yeah. No, I was very young when I started playing Diablo. <laughs> um, let's see. Maximum damage, lightning resistance, chance to cast level one, amplify damage on striking. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like I can basically amplify my damage when I hit things. 2 to maximum damage, 31 attack rating. Honestly, that's not that good. i sell that. Maximum damage. Like, these are all okay. Can I see if we can have a different type of... Oh, God. Give me, like, a whole inventory of this shit. If I get two really nice bows, I'll keep them both. Oh, hello. A dire horn longbow. Don't I have something else that's fucking dire horn? Nah, it's so soul class sorry fucking hell i'm remembering the wrong thing and it's hot spur yeah all right just clarifying that okay so this is definitely a candidate uh enhanced damage maximum damage 12 poison damage over three seconds hit causes monsters to flee 12 percent that's a 3 to 14 damage in fast attack speed i would like something a little bit faster than that but compared to that 1 to 5 damage versus 3 to 14. This is top contender at the moment. This one can get the fuck back in its inventory. I like these two so far. I could probably do this as an offhand bow as an upgrade to this so far because this one does maximum damage in life stolen. A hit is still the same. So instead of 
Instead of maximum damage, I could replace that with fire resistance. The only problem is it does mean that I'd need my offhand bows to not cast magic. I'm pretty sure that's what it used to do. Enhanced damage, minimum damage, attack rating, uh, amplified damage. Let me up some more of these and some of these too. Might as well. Very fast, maximum damage. That does dexterity. That would help considering what I'm doing to my um, skill tree. <laughs> oh, 5% cold resistance. Okay, so it's basically this, except instead of fire resistance, it's that, and it does a 3 to 10. Alright, well, I'll keep that one. Hands damage. Excellent damage. You can go. I don't know where it's best to put this, but these two, so far, what I might do is you're staying, so you can get out of my inventory. And I'll just see if I can get one more, like, rare or something. That's rare. Hello. Bone flight. Long, long bow. This is have an enhanced damage, adds 2 to 6 damage, so it's still in a shit ton of that. 12 attack rating, 7 poison damage over 3 seconds hit, cause monsters to flee. Isn't that basically the same? 12, 7. This one does a little bit more. That one does similar percentage. I like the like, I like how you guys got like snugged up blankies. It's cute. Is it still cold where you are at the moment, Bubba? Because it's like. It's hot, but it's also cold here. It's kind of like on the in-between at the moment. It's changing a little bit. It's uncomfortably changing season. It's got 67 enhanced damage. 2 to max damage. There's attack rating. Maximum damage. This one is slightly better. This one does a lot more poison damage, but this one does more overall damage. Fire level is 10. It's 49 Fahrenheit right now. That still sounds pretty cold. Um, I think it was like in the wasn't it like high 30s or something recently. It's getting a little warmer for you. Let's see. Very fast. Increased attack speed. Damage to undead. Attack rating against undead. That one could go. It's kind of getting better. As long as it's getting a little bit more comfortable. It's like getting up when it's cold as shit. These two are pretty great. This one's a lot better than that one, but I do like the more poison damage of the other one. This does a shit ton more enhanced damage. I think if I was going to imbue something, it'd be that. Or if she wants something that's kind of plain. <clears throat> I think she does normally want it to be something that doesn't have existing magic in it. Which if that's the case, I'll come back out here in a moment and see how we go with that. So... The other thing is, I could put this as an alternative bow in my inventory. I could also just keep that for the moment. Or I could sell this. Because it is better. It does so much more damage. I should really just sell that. Right. So I'll see if she'll imbue this. I'm pretty sure she needs something that doesn't have magic. But I'm going to see if she'll do it to this. Um, yeah, what is it? No magic, no socketed, no red. I fucking thought so. I was like, oh... I remembered back when I first used to do this, I did this exact thing. And I think the thing is my brain just tells me this is the way to go. So I do it every time. Let's swap that over for that at the moment. I'll have a spare bow, my inventory for now, if I've even got that kind of space. And I'm going to have to find something that's not rare or magical, which basically would be either trying to buy something from her inventory or trying to buy something from What's-Her-Face's inventory. Have you got any kind of bows that are just normal? Is the oh that one's short bow, normal short bow. That one's socketed. All right, well she'll probably do it to this thing, and then I'll probably sell it right back. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it's not incredible compared to this. I mean, if it is, I'll use it. Yeah. So I can have where the fuck is my inventory? There we go. When I find my keyboard. So it's a ghoul flight. I feel like this is one that I saw before. What is it? It's 1 to 12, but it's more, not quite as powerful. 8 to maximum damage, 82 to attack rating, adds 1 to 7 lightning damage and 3 to light radius. It's interesting how important light radius is at this point in the game, honestly. How bad is it? It's 1 to 12. What is it compared to the other one? One's 3 to 14. Yeah, I could probably sell that back to her. It's like, thanks for imbuing this. Would you take it back? How much does this sell for? I'll tell you what, I maybe made profit on that. Thank you. 
All right, I feel a little guilty about that, but that should have given me, if I go into quests, not in town. Okay, now I've just got to find out who's going to give me this quest. Because if you guys notice, I've got all my other quests, but I haven't got this. So I'm going to see if they've got any gossip for me. I don't really know anything about Kane. He seems to have a lot of secrets. That makes me nervous. Fair. Alright, what about down this way? I know, well, I'll come back and talk to you in a minute. One of you guys is going to be giving me a Good quest, day. I'm for sure. To be honest, I have done my best to stay clear of Geed. He wears dishonesty about himself like a cloak, and seeks only to better his situation by preying on the misfortunes of others. So, I've currently got Azula sitting on the back of my chair. And she's, she's a chunk of a cat, and she's just like, she's weighing down the whole back of my chair in a way that's hurting my back. Try and give her a pat then. Um, until it gets colder here. Oh, he's got the quest for me. Until it gets colder here, I really don't want to put down their like cat beds and stuff just yet. I just wait until it cools down, that way she can like snuggle in. Otherwise it just sits up here collecting dust. It is certain that we face the demon queen, Andariel who has corrupted the rogue sisterhood and defiled their ancestral monastery. This does not bode well for us, my friend. Ancient Horodric texts record that Andariel and the other lesser evils once overthrew the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal, banishing them from hell to our world. Here, they caused mankind untold anguish and suffering before they were finally bound within the Soul Stones. And Doriel's presence here could mean that the forces of Hell are once again aligned behind Diablo and his brothers. If this is true, then I fear for us all. You must kill her before the monastery becomes a permanent outpost of Hell and the way east lost forever. I do like that it's like it could become a permanent outpost. It's not a Bachman. Whoop, that is a button. It's not the button that I require. I should probably also like put my hand on the keyboard the way I'm supposed to play this game. Uh, yeah, find Andoriel's lair in the depths of monastery catacombs. Okay, so I think we were, we were all the way up there. I was gonna say snipe. You missed out on, missed out on cheese two days, two days in a row. I don't know how you live, man. I don't know how you're surviving. Like, cheese deprived. <laughs> hey, Ren, welcome back. Um, what are you up to? The fuck was that noise? Oh, Jesus, they whistle at you. I'm like, the fuck was that noise? I like legit thought it was like some kind of a random phone. I'm like, my phone doesn't make that noise and I know my partner's phone don't make that noise. So that was interesting. I guess if they're nearby enough, they can like whistle at you. That was my pretending I actually got sick. You know what they say, fake it till you make it, right? <laughs> and you obviously faked it until you got sick, so I guess that happened. I've already cleared out all the way through here. I've got to go down. It said this is the cloister. Oh shit! I've got to go down to the um. Uh, monastery, right? That should be like. Is that in here? Hold on. Let me have a look at this fucking thing. The cheese. Yeah, well, you guys got. You guys got the cheese slap emote. Snap, you still got che uh, cheese slap emote available, so that's not too bad. Um. Now, I've already been down there. I think. It's not that cave, is it? Didn't I go in there? I maybe went in there? I don't know. I found that there was a jail all the way up in here. There's a jail, and I'm pretty sure that's the progression point. Oop, that ain't the bottom. There we go. I spent two, what was that? Two hours in hospital having that thingy attached to my veins, the bag of liquid, the IV. Yeah, I get them, I get them fairly often, um, because I get like severely dehydrated um, as part of like one of my medical patients, so. Yeah, it's great fun, especially when you're like dehydrated and shit, they have extra trouble getting that shit in. 
Oh, crap. Yeah, great fun. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, no, that wouldn't have been fun to have had to have gotten that if you're sick enough to need one of them. Let's see, avoid slow missiles. Slow missiles does help. I don't think I cast that though, that's passive. I slow shit down, that does help me. And, oh, exploding arrow. I've been waiting for this. Yeah, sure. Definitely exploding arrow. New stats. All right. I'm not sure. Let's see. 36 and 36. Cool. So that's the only one that's on extra. So that's pretty awesome. There we go. All right. Cool. Now they're keeping me here until I don't look like I'm going to pass out. That's probably a good thing if they're keeping you under observation. Um... Obviously, you ended up pretty fucking sick if that's the case. It's not good, but at least just somewhere where you can be, like, attended to and you weren't already, like, you know, outside in the field or something. Um, where that could have could have gotten really bad really quickly. I pretty much just have to go straight down from here. So I shouldn't need my, shouldn't need my map to hickey on. Also, so the enemies can just, like, straight up open up doors and shit by the way so that was a fun thing so this is in the barracks hold up hold up it said monastery right yeah in the depths of the monastery catacombs i don't think this is the monastery this is the barracks okay and i will go through here i'll just clear shit out i've already done it once back here like it shouldn't be too difficult for me to clear this out Back here, mate. I think I've got everybody here. Yeah, somebody straight up just dropped an amulet as soon as I walked in here. I'm like, these fucking guys and their fancy ass amulets. I also just saw a scroll of identify. What with that? Ah, oh, it's one to dexterity. Red. What's it? I've been subscribing. Been subscribing for 10 months. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Grim. Thank you for the resub. Jesus Christ. That's. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's been 10 months, but yeah, it's it's almost been it's almost been a year since I got fucking affiliate, if that's the case. I just kind of forgot or haven't noticed. Also, there's a severe lack of enemies. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. What is that? There's Black Rogue and there's what? Something that Dire Pox Destroyer. Righto. Let's not hit that. Yeah, how you doing, Grim? Did you get some sleep today? Um, I sure as fuck have. I got so much sleep, and I'm still so tired. I just, I don't know. I feel like I can't rest properly. There we go. I don't know. You know when you, like, lay down and you try to sleep? You get sleep, and then you're just fucking exhausted because you slept? I like that. I think I got sleep last night, but not today. Oh, yeah. That kind of sucks. At least you got a bit of rest like last night. There's one more of these guys in here. I just don't know where he went. Yeah, give me that. Give me that shrine. Oh, yeah. I do need mana. There's a thing. Oh, I fucking heard you over here somewhere, you bastard. Where are you? He's in the next room. You come to me. I'll get all the stuff over here. My extra helper would be busy for like a minute. Right. She'd be fine. I assume. I mean, she might not be, but we'll, we'll find out. That's space. Not really. Hey. What's that? Oh, give me a sec. I don't have quite enough room for whatever the fuck that big brochet thing is. Actually, I could probably drink that. Now I do. Alright, give me this. Go back to town. Yeah, that'll do it. I never knew that you can basically hallucinations when the temperature goes beyond 39.7. Yeah, for sure you can. Um, I will hydrate too. I'll just have to sit forwards on my chair to outweigh Azula. She's kind of like weighing down my back, back my chair pretty hard. Yeah, you can have some pretty wild fucking hallucinations when you get sick. I don't know. I've had a, a couple of times where I've been like really seriously sick and I don't know. It kind of sucks. I had one time where I was, I was so sick. Um, every time I fell asleep, I went back into the war trenches and was fighting some unknown war that was going on. 
And so every single time I woke up, I escaped it for like a couple of minutes, but basically just like, I guess essentially ranted my body and it was just this awful feeling of like, oh, I feel like shit kind of thing. And then I'd fall back asleep, which was like a reprieve from that, but fall back into like the wartime trenches and stuff, which really sucked. So yeah, I get, I get unusual dreams when I'm sick. I also just generally get unusual dreams in, in general. Not that way. Go back out this way. I can't, oh, I can't sleep. Uh, have more tests and another IV. Oh, give me a sec. I've got these two guys. Another IV. So I'm just curled up under the blanket. Fuck them and fuck being sick. Hey, do you find that like the IV is fucking icy cold? You know when you get the um, oh jeez, this guy. You know when they give you like a fresh bag and stuff, it's like makes you cold. Yeah, it's fucking horrible. I hate it too. And the worst part is it doesn't matter if you curl up under a blanket and it doesn't matter if you like go pee or whatever. Like whatever the fuck you do to like warm up your body for like two minutes. Like it literally just returns back to cold. Um, or it like never leaves it. I think your body starts to freeze. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much how it feels. I find it's quite painful. Um, right. I think you can kind of tell I end up getting like a few fucking IVs a year. I think probably the worst year I had was when I had five consecutively in one year. Let's go down here and see where it goes. This is down to what jail. Marriage tortures took place here. I'm not sure if it's this or if it's the cave out in the field that I'm supposed to be going to. But I mean, I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. It's only extra XP. Also, the best thing about having the fire arrow is that it um, it legitimately just uh, lights up lights up the area. The only problem is I do have this by comparison. It does five mana versus three mana, but I'm pretty sure this does area damage. I'm pretty sure it's twenty percent attack rating, seven to twenty. Versus 7 to 11. Back reading of that. But it's physical damage to elemental damage. Anyway. Let's swap over to that for a moment. I'm going to run out of mana really quickly with this. But it will give me a chance to kind of see what it does in a kind of enclosed space. I'll probably just die real quick. That's how it should go. Oh, that looks awesome. I really like that. Quite nice. I can hear you guys up here. And here you guys being all ghostly and shit. What is in here? Oh man. Whoop. Hello. There we go. Whoa, shit, fuck. What's over there? What's up, Rin? Pulling faces. I I opened something that was a, I think there was a door there. I keep seeing these bats. I'm hearing like the um Yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you too. That's, oh shit, fuck, why are you green? Oh, that's right, I do poison damage now. Oh yeah. Oh. That's a thing, I guess. That's a thing that I do nowadays. <laughs> Imagine that, I get myself a bow that specifically does poison damage. <sighs> of course, half of these are trapped. And yeah, of course, the first thing I do is just like, ugh, do poison damage and forget that I have it. It's fantastic. Hmm. Alright, well there shouldn't be much... Oh, there's one major dude there. Oh, that hurt him through the wall, actually. Pretty cool. Oh, shit. A little close, mate. I can also hear something else in the distance also making noises. I am overburdened. What the fuck? How am I overburdened already? Huh. Yeah, well that would do it. Maybe I can take that. That's not going to afford me that much space. This is a whole ass sword. Um, I could probably work with this. Hold on. Why is that there? What's that? But looking at the screen makes me think I'd be lost in this game. Maybe. It could also just be because you're unwell as well. It's probably like mostly what it is. Let's use one of those town portals and go sell the shit. I um, I find it's a lot to do with the fact that I've played it a lot. So when I run around, when I go into caves and shit, I kind of auto path myself towards wherever wherever the exit's supposed to be. 
without like intentionally doing so I just kind of usually just find my way like I'm mostly just going through this particular underground area because I'm like it exists and I can get I can get XP from it so I don't really mind um like, I don't have to. I think I'm supposed to go through the cave passage, and that's probably supposed to take me where I'm supposed to go. But I want to clear this out. Because the other thing, too, is I like how in the older Diablos, like, it's a finite amount of shit to f kill. Like, I can run around this area, and once it's cleared, it doesn't matter how many times I portal in and out of things, I am perfectly fine. Like, there won't be more things in here. It's it's wonderful. I also really like how everything looks when I actually hit them. It's pretty. Yeah. I can hear you guys up there. Just wait your fucking turn. Jesus, I'll kill you soon enough. Uh, it's probably brightness and stuff. It could also be the brightness. The game itself is actually really dark. So, like, I don't have much in the way of light radius at the moment. So, we can't really see very far. That's why I also like to run around with the, um... Oh, uh, what do you call it? With the map open, that helps. It helps me figure out where the fuck I'm trying to go. Yes, just stand still, mate. Stand still. There we go. Look, let me open the door. There you go. All right, I'll come back up to this guy in a moment. It's not my fault. I tried to kick this guy. It's helping me. Was that kick this guy helping me walk? Because he implied I was trying to get rid of me. What? Rid of me in the forest? Wait, I think I missed something there. It's not my fault I tried to kick the guy helping me walk because I imagine he's trying to get rid of me in the forest. Yeah. Now, I think so long as they understand that you're going through like a pretty decent fever, they should be able to they should be able to tell that you've got fucking uh what do you call it, hallucinations and shit. The other thing too is, is if you are getting hallucinations, it's worth like mentioning it to whoever you're attending is to at least let them know because they might be able to change whatever you're on to at least like make you more comfortable or whatever. Uh, it just depends. Some of them are good like that. Some of them are just like, oh yeah, you'll be fine. I can't carry anymore. Um, I don't. I'm already full again. I guess we go back. This is a bad thing for me. I loot goblin. If stuff don't respawn, then I can't get more free loot. And uh, the way I look at it is like, all you really got to do is like, if you want more free shit, you just log out, log back in. Like, that's really it. Plus, like, you go through the different areas and, uh, both of those are unidentified. You go through the different areas and you find new areas and stuff. Like, I just like the fact that once you've cleared an area, you can fucking move forward. It's like, when I load back in to start a stream every week, um, that one's actually kind of good. Yeah, I might take that. The mana does help me, though. I'll get rid of it. Every week when I log back in, essentially what happens is the enemies will respawn no matter where they are, no matter if I've got like this whole thing cleared or not. So they are back. It's kind of like incentive to go back over where you've been and kind of like just, I don't know, clear it out again. But at the same time, it makes